guys, it's me Sam and welcome to my Boxing Day shopping haul. I guess you could say I'm going to do this in like two instalments because, well, obviously it's not Boxing Day anymore. It is in fact the 27th now, but um, I went down to Worcester on Boxing Day where I went and had a splurge of myself and I kept within my limit of £80. Well, slightly over, but nothing too like loads over. And what I've decided to do is that I'm going to do this vlog, as I said, in two instalments. Because while I was in Worcester, I went to Primark, I went to Superdrug, and I also went to Lush. But I am going to do my Lush haul separate to this video because I want to talk about my experiences with the infamous Lush Boxing Day sale. In the end, they were positive ones, so at least... You know, it's good stuff to look forward to and, well, it's lush, it's just good stuff, full stop. So, in this vlog, I'm just going to be talking and showing you what I bought from Primark and Superdrug. And, um, without further ado, I guess i better start. Okay, um, I spent the grand total of £41 in Primark. And I got quite a few bits and bobs, to be perfectly honest, which impressed me quite a bit. As always, I will go via what I've got on my receipts. And the first two things I'm going to show you. And although I did buy myself a box of these just before Christmas, I picked myself another two up as well. It's the truffles. As I said, I bought two boxes. Uh, these are the ones that I bought before. Uh, these are sparkle vanilla truffles, which is um, a light truffle with cranberry flavour and Madagascan vanilla. Encased in white chocolate and dusted in silver sparkle. There they are. These are so tasty. So, so tasty. And I also picked up these ones. I've not tried these ones, so I don't know if they're going to be any good. But these are their sparkle salted caramel truffles. These are caramel sea salt in a milk chocolate shell and dusted with gold coloured sparkle. Well, before Christmas and up to Christmas, these were uh, be, these were being retailed at three pound per box. They were a pound each. I stuck up on these sandwiches. You know you like them, and obviously, um, they're trying to sell them off, so they won't be selling them anymore, which is sad. So, I might have to go back. Maybe in the one thing that I asked Jessica to get me for Christmas was some oval makeup brushes, and she wasn't able to do so. And I know Primark sold the, the large one, which is the one I mainly wanted, to be perfectly honest. And I knew Primark sold them, so I got myself one. This is from their PS Pro range. This is their blending brush for high and definition results. As you can clearly see, this costs four quid. So obviously it wasn't reduced, it wasn't in the sale or anything like that. But to be perfectly honest, four quid, you can't but not say no to that. And basically, it's just a foundation brush, but it's these new bangled oval ones instead. The one I've got upstairs, I got on eBay, so you know that's that only cost me one forty. And I was concerned about the quality of the brushes and the bristles, so I don't know if this is gonna be crap or not. I hope not. I was attempting to get this out of the box now. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh, that feels even better than the one I've got upstairs. It's so soft. Oh, oh I like that. I'm really impressed with that. Well, with the softness in the way. I don't know what it's going to be like about with using it with my foundation, but um, I'm sure I'll let you know. Right, let's move on to the next thing that I got. And according to my receipt, it was this fake leather looking dress. Oh, it's more like a pinafore than anything. I am denied about getting one of these. I thought, I can't wear them. They're more for, like, young people. But I discussed it with Jessica, and I said, I don't see why you shouldn't be able to, Mum. You know, wear it with a nice thick pair of black tights and your flat black shoes that you got from Primark, the ones that I wore to the interview not long ago. Nice white jumper underneath. I can't see why. I mean, I've tried it on. It fits me. It does actually look quite nice. And I like, I like the pockets in them as well. I can't see why I can't wear this. So I've got myself one. 
these were originally being retailed at £10 and I got this in a size 14 because the one in the size 12 was really quite tight on me so I went for the 14 instead so basically I was on room well not 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 just over the tummy area but it's me bum me bum my daily area is rather large so anyway I got myself that and I paid three pounds for it while I was in Primark obviously I had to go downstairs and have a quick look around the home where range to see if there was anything that caught my eye or was produced like in the sale and I thought let's go and have a mooch so off I went and I came across this duvet cover set this is their black floral duvet cover set it's for a double bed Mine is king size, I don't care. I, mean, I was able to get my quilt cover over my quilt, my Christmassy one that I got, and it fits. I'm sure this will do the same. And I just thought it was really, really nice. I like black things, as you guys kind of like know anyway. And, and the floral print is very catching, and obviously it's reversible as well, so I can decide which sides I prefer. I think that was originally being sold for, oh, that is, for £11. And it isn't just a quilt cover you get. You get the pillowcases as well, in case you're wondering. And I paid £5 for this. I seem to have this custom now that every time I go to Primark, I always seem to come out with a pair of their jeggings. And um, normally I go for like a dark indigo colour, like the ones that I'm wearing today. These are the dark indigo ones that I normally like to buy. This time, I went for a much lighter pair. And yes, as you can see, I got them in a size 14, just to make sure there's a bit of roomage over one's tum tum and bum area. And uh, as usual, I only paid £6 for these, but the quality, because of how cheap they are, is amazing. So, you can't knock them, you just can't. Well, that was a shock. I have just had the ex's dad knocking on my door. I mean, he wasn't stopping. He was just literally dropping off a present for Jessica because there was a few things, obviously, she hadn't been able to get from their house over the Christmas period. So he thought he'd drop it by. That was really nice. He seemed actually quite pleasantly pleased to see me. I don't know, it's been a cool couple of years since we've last spoken face to face. So... Um, Oh, it was really nice. Oh, um, right. <laughs> Let's move on. The next thing I'm going to show you that I picked up from Prank was a complete and utter steal. And I can't wait to wear this. It's just, it's upside down for start. It just looks so warm. I got it in a size 14 to 16. Because the only other size they had on me was like a size 8. And I'm not a size 8, as you guys might have gathered. It is this sleeveless fleecy warm kind of waistcoat thing i'm gonna put it on for you so you can see it's, it is so thick i reckon if i wore this with like a white long sleeve jumper or top oh my god it's got no sleeve um, I, I thought it might have some pockets but it hasn't but it's got like fluffy stuff on the inside and then you've got like um sheepskin kind of effect on the outer but at the back it's woolen but I just, I couldn't but say no to it because this originally was retailed at £14. Then according to the ticket, they reduced it to £12. I got it for £5. It's so furry. I can see this like keeping me really warm. Really, really warm. Right, the next thing I am going to show you. I did all my know about getting these before Christmas, but then I didn't bother. And I don't care. I'll still kick about in the house in them because I like to have trousers I can just knock about in. If I'm not going out of the house and I just want to be comfortable, then why the hell not? And it was these. It's one, one of the many Christmassy leggings that they were selling. And I got these in a size 14 to 16 again, obviously, because they'll fit over my bum and they're comfy. And... What more can I say? And originally these would be sold for £7, 
but they had reduced them to three pounds and that's why I was like you know you know what you, you can't but say no to these and I don't care if they're a little bit long in the leg because like I said I'm only going to wear them in the house so I got rid of some those and 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 um I blame Sally which is the midway vlogs I know she's got a pair of these herself and I wasn't going to get any but then I had a proper look at them while I was in the shop and I was like oh my god they just feel so warm and I know the Christmas period is over but I can get away with them because it's it's winter it's the same with the ones I've just shown you but I also picked up these ones as well I, I just had to do it I just mm, couldn't say no uh, these ones were originally eight pounds and once again I've got them in a size 14 to 16 and so they don't seem as big as the other ones most because they're more elasticated i don't know but once again like the, the gray ones i've just shown you these are just like three for me to chill about in the house in if i'm not going down the house or if i get home from work once i've got a new job i just want to get something comfy after being in my office clothes all day then these will be absolutely perfect as i said I, you know these, these were originally eight pounds and i picked them up for five pounds while I'm in Primark, I always like to look at the jewellery, just in case anything stands out or catches my eye. I go, you yeah, have some of that, why not? I found a couple of necklaces that obviously were reduced, and I thought, yeah, I like them, I'm going to have them. Uh, the first ones I picked up were originally £3, and I got them for £8, and it's just this simple rose gold dear epoxy bun. They don't look like buns to me. They're like semicircles, and as you can see, they've got like gold or rose gold. It's got little fake diamonds at the top, and like I don't know, black stuff going on there. And I just liked it, and I thought that'd be nice to wear with one of my many blouses. Looks very smart, very sophisticated. And I also came across this necklace as well. I don't think this is so pretty, and this is the. Uh, cut out triangle diamond rose gold necklace once again retail for three pounds but they reduced it to a pound so I thought I've got to have that simple as that very quaint you can wear that at the weekend there might be a bit too much for in the office I don't know who cares I still wear it no me all right I'm like when I say I love bling but I'm getting that way I'm very really under thought so today by looking at me and so, yeah, I got myself those. There wasn't really anything else jewellery-wise that really stood out to me. This next clothing item I'm going to show you, I, I'd never seen in the store before. And I was like, how come I've not seen that? Because I probably would have bought it anyway for its normal price. But I didn't, so I couldn't. But okay, so I've got it now. And it is what is called a Peter Pan print blouse. Obviously because of the colour. I can only guess. Although we could also say it's a a Wednesday inspired type. Kind of, I know I like I like things like this, and it'd be perfect for wearing into the office. I may have to wear a cardigan with it at the moment because obviously with it being short sleeve. But this was being retailed for six pounds, and I picked it up for three pounds. And the final product that I picked up from Primark. Is this hat? I now have so many hats that I just don't, I don't even wear them. I don't. I don't know. Let me just take it off. Where I live on Bromsgrove, the way I like to look, the way I like to dress, which is very classy, very sophisticated. Um, it just doesn't fit in with the rest of the chaps of Bromsgrove. Basically, you go down to Bromsgrove Town Centre and. The way I'm dressed today is how people would go out looking like anyway, more well, most people anyway. I know there's a lot of people here in Bromsgrove that are unemployed and even if they're not unemployed, they just don't tend to care how they look unless they're going out to the pub on the line. So most people would be go into the town with their hair tied back like this, normal looking jumpers, jeans, tracksuit buttons. Basically, what can I say about Bromsgrove? Especially here where I live in Charford, which is like a, a little suburb in Bromsgrove. Um, Charford is like Chavland. That's my nickname for it. It just consists of nothing but chavs. So, as I said, 
I don't tend to wear my hats very often and I know I should because I've got some really really lovely hats and I never wear them and maybe I should start doing so I mean I do go to Wasta a lot so maybe start dressing myself up a little bit more when I do go out I couldn't resist this hat they were being sold even with my hair tied back and most times hats don't look that good with me hair tied back but this one does and I love it as I said it was originally been retail for eight pounds and I picked it up for three pounds can you believe it three pounds it's got like this tassel thing on it as well I couldn't but say no to it I really couldn't and I was there like trying it on in the shop and there was this lady looking at me gone out as well say she might try that on and I just looked at her say well if I don't try it on am I gonna know if it suits me or not but obviously as we can see it does I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And obviously, this would be brilliant for me to wear on cold mornings, especially when I'm walking to work. But I, I, I like to have them tilted like that, kind of like 50 style. This will definitely keep my head warm in the morning, as well as the, all the other hats that I've got. So I'm just going to have to start wearing them, aren't I? Simple as that. Right, so that's the other thing I got from Primark. Very impressive the fact that I actually didn't spend all that much. But as usual, I left Primark with a humongous jam-packed bag. So that makes me happy. And uh, I'm not going to show you what I bought from Superdrug. I only bought one thing from Superdrug. And it was something I was kind of looking for. Not the actual product that I actually bought. I was after some kind of basket for me to keep all my bath bombs and all my bath stuff in and to keep everything together so when I came across this in the super drug I was like this has got to come home with me I am talking about this in case you don't know what this is this is the Suella Pamper Hamper these were originally been retail between 30 and 45 pounds I believe I was able to pick it up for $16.99, so obviously, yes, I was able to get it in the sale. Um, I've already undone the, the clasps. Nice, nice, leathery clasps. And I think what I have, oh, this is going to be so perfect to keep all my bath stuff in. Even though, oh, ow, I forgot, stop, don't eat my hands. Even though I have opened it up to have a look inside, I haven't actually unwrapped anything yet, so I will be having a look at the products at the same time as sharing them with you. I'm just made up to have the bloody basket, to be perfectly honest. As I've stated before a couple of times now, I'm addicted to watching Suella's YouTube videos. I never used to bother with her before. For some reason, she just didn't seem to attract my attention, but now she does. Oh, and her fellow Alfie, I'm telling you, they've got their brains in gear. They know exactly what they're doing in fair play to the guys. And for Sabella to have her own beauty range, I mean, she's not alone. You know, you've got Tanya Blur, she's got hers now as well, and a few others. But Suella to me is the original. You just can't beat Suella. And I can understand why you say there are so many young people out there, especially young girls, that look up to Suella. Because she's just a lovely, lovely person. And I found out recently, she's actually from the Worcester area. So she only used to live down the road from me. Obviously, she's got a lot more posher voice than you are. But anyway, enough about my love for Suella. Let's talk about her pamper hamper. As I said, I was able to pick it up for $16.99, which, you know, I, I'm impressed with the fact that... Not only did I get the basket, which is what I was looking for anyway, so when I've seen that, I thought, it's the products inside as well that I'm kind of looking forward to trying out as well, because I've had so much hype about her products. I mean, this is the more newer, it's like a Christmas beauty range. I know she's got like a normal one as well. I, I, I may have to try some of her other things at some point, especially now we've got a super truck back in Bromsgrove. I was going to go into town today, but then I didn't because the ex popped around this morning for an hour. I didn't bother going out. I might nip down there tomorrow because I need to go 
and check Clinton's. I want to go and get some more candles. I bought some candles from Clinton's just before Christmas. They were absolutely adorable. There were two wick ones. I don't know if you remember me showing them, but I want to go and see if I've got some more because if I have, I want to stock up on them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to nip into Super Drug and check out Bombs Goes. No Super Drug because I haven't been in there yet. Right. First thing that I am going to show you that I've just pulled out is this little cosmetic brush. It says, Bake My Down. You've even got little gingerbread men on there. Is that apparently everything here is supposed to be like gingerbread scented, but not like a whole of cinnamon gingerbread scented kind of scent. That's good because I don't really like gingerbread. I don't like ginger. It's nothing in there, it's just an empty cosmetic press, but that'd be nice for me to carry my little bits and bobs around in my handbag. As you all know, I've already got one makeup bag that I tend to use, which uh, usually has my little hairbrush in there, my mirror, uh, if my lipstick that I'm wearing that day will go in there as well, and I always have my head, head soothe, I've got for it in case I get a headache when I was done on the keep in there. Oh, my hairbrush all thing that I like shoving up my nose if I've got a cold. So just clears your sinus like instant and um yeah any of the bits and bobs i tend to carry around with me can go in this so i can be it it feels very very nice quality so that's a good thing to have i guess the next thing i'm going to show you is what somewhere is called a bath lily this is those exfoliators you can get to scrub your body with it, i have to it's like ivory kind of creamy shade in it with hints of pink coming through. It's very pretty. Very eye catching. Oh, it's even, you can see that before, there's even a little thing for you to hang it up on something, maybe from the taps on your bath with Suella's name on it as well. So that's adorable. But it's the products from Sarah Arm After. And as you can see, they are wrapped up within tissue. So I have to get them out of there. And then the basket's been literally just like shoved through with this pretty pink papery patching stuff, which will probably, I mean, I, I might keep some of it in there because my bath bombs aren't necessarily in sort of sticking to me. Oh, get off. Oh, no, 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 get off me. Just stop clinging to me. I don't cling, I, I don't do clinging. It's, um, some of the bath bombs that I've ordered from Lush. I'll tell you more about this in my Lush Boxing Day vlog, which I'll film after doing this. Some of them obviously weren't be in bags. Most of the ones I've already got upstairs are in bags, but I know that when you order off their online store, they don't come in bags. So, as I said, I'll probably have to keep some paper in there just so I can keep things protected. But all my bath goodies will be going in there and that gives me a, a thought of maybe a, a, a vlog video for me to do in the future to show you my bath goodies what i keep in my bath hamper box okay let's begin with what i've got now especially now i'm covered in bloody paper okay let's open up the smaller one i want to see what's in the smaller one no fancy way of getting this open to it was just close to it. Let's do it, huh? Right, okay, where have we got? Fragrance bath salts. I love the packaging. The packaging is very cute. It looks like a bag of sweets, if anything. And I do have to admit, this does make me laugh quite a bit on it. It does actually say, this is not a food. Do not eat. I try not to, promise. Uh, so yeah, this is Suella's gingerbread bath salts. One is going to have to put her glasses on, whether she likes it or not, because I can't read that. Right, I've got my glasses on now. I'm also just going to make myself a mocha. Strong. Just gone four o'clock in the afternoon, so I can justify having a mocha now. Right, let's get back to these gingerbread bath salts. Wash your cares away with my spicy gingerbread and warm vanilla bath salts. Sprinkle into warm running water and watch them dissolve. They'll leave your skin feeling energised and refreshed. Oh, I can't really tell you much about them because obviously I've not used them. So what I'm going to probably do is see if anybody's done any reviews on these so that I can get 
I guess a bit of a heads up on them first and maybe at some point when I have tried them maybe I can do a review on Suella's products myself so looking forward to trying these out within that packaging we also have Suella's bath fissa is that fissa 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 now I did look at um, uh, the normal one she does but uh, I was like what's the point in getting one of those because it's all just stating that it's one within this hamper so we'll, we'll try this one out and see if it's any good they're just fragrance bath fizzlers uh, for a delicious dose of christmas me time snap up my wonderful bath fizzler and drop into warm running water it's perfect indulgent treat i presume it's the same kind of because i've seen what they look like a normal bath fizzler they're like they're like bars of chocolate I'm not addicted to chocolate. No. I guess that's probably why I say this is not a food to do and not eat. I can't smell anything for the packaging whatsoever, so I can't really tell you my opinions yet on it, but I'm sure I will at some point. Right, let's move on to the second of the wrapped up goodness that's in the hamper. Oh, it's what do we do if it's not nice see? Ooh, ooh, come here. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, right. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> right, the first thing I'm going to show you is Suella's Hungry Hands. So I presume this is the hand cream and this says show your hands some love with this heavenly scented super moisturizing gingerbread and warm vanilla hand cream enriched with nourishing shea butter vitamin e a pinch of ginger and a dash of vanilla to leave hands feeling silky smooth and soft to the touch say oh that's not good Just come on i need to squirt i need to see what oh should i say smell you oh well, that's pleasant. I don't know. Get it on the nose, stupid woman. It's not very overpowering. I have to admit that. Oh, my God. Oh, that's better. I can smell it now. Oh, that is delightful. It's it's like a vanilla-y, ginger red smell. So, yeah, it's not gingery in any way. Which was, I was kind of like, please don't be gingery. I don't like gingery things, but it's not. It's more vanilla. It smells. It reminds me of a, a vanilla latte in some ways. Oh my god, that smells really, really nice. I'm trying to see what it says about it on the packaging that came around the box. Okay, this this stuff in here is just mm, that is delightful, and I have to admit that it's, that's left my oh my god, my hands are actually really, really soft. So that'd be nice for me to keep by my bedside and, and apply to my hands before going to sleep uh the second thing i'm going to show you is the ginger cream so i presume this is the body cream and it says show your skin some love of my indulgent gingerbread and warm vanilla body cream lightly whipped to perfection and enriched with some extracts of nourishing shea butter and vitamin e Apply a generous dollop and it will leave your skin feeling silky, soft and smelling absolutely delicious. This rich dream cream is a super indulgent treat. Happy holidays. So, Ella. Oh, God, it's sealed up, isn't it? So, I can't. I'm not sure it will smell like a hand cream. Let's find out. Let's put a little bit on my arm. Oh god it does, it does, it does, it does and I have to admit that I sunk straight into my skin. Oh that is just actually quite nice. Mm. Would I say it's leaving, no it is, it is, it is leaving my skin feeling quite soft so very already thinking mmm. And the final thing is Suella's shower please. And it says on the front, pop up your daily shower session with a dash of my spicy gingerbread and warm vanilla shower glaze. Drizzle lightly onto sponge. Probably why that was in there. Add warm boiling water and watch those super frothy balls appear. It's cysty. Is that cysty? 
of the shimmer sesame. The sesame shimmer glaze will leave your skin feeling energised and smelling delicious for the festive season. Well, obviously Christmas is over, so we're now heading towards the new year, but I still think it's, I'm, I'm not going to squirt too much out. Yeah, it's the same kind of scent. So obviously I, I probably will be smelling like vanilla gingerbread for a while. I mean, I think, to be perfectly honest, as much as I love you, Soella, the fact that I paid £17 for all that, and I was more impressed with the basket, well, basically I bought it for the basket, I'm not going to lie there. Soella's products aren't exactly the cheapest anyway, so I think I paid a justifiable price for all of those goodies, but the main thing that I wanted was the basket. And so, yeah, um, that is what I got from Superdrug. As I said, at some point I'm going to do a review properly on those products and I might also try out a few more of Soeri's products as well because especially the fact that I know Superdrug are doing like a free for two offer thing. So I'll go in there, I'll go and have a merch to see what they sell and I'll see what I can get. Can I take these glasses off now? Because I hate wearing my glasses. So yeah, that is what I got from Superdrug, that is what I got from Primark and that concludes my vlog for now yeah this is my boxing day part one shopping haul vlog and as i said i'm now gonna start on this part two which is my boxing day lush experience vlog oil haul haul um so yeah i'm gonna conclude this for now i'll see you all shortly Thank you for watching. If you've got anything you'd like to ask me, if you've got any comments you'd like to leave, if you'd just like to give this a thumbs up, it'd be appreciated. If you haven't subscribed to me already, why haven't you? Please do so by hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you all very shortly when I talk to you about Lush. <laughs>